What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hunter and I'm back bringing you another one versus one matchup. Before I get into commentating this match, there's something I want to say. I just want to say that I really hope everyone had a fun holiday, you know, a winter break, Christmas break, whatever the case may be. I hope you had a safe holiday, lots of fun, family, friends, all that good stuff. Happy New Year. It is now 2011. So I just wanted to say that. Um, kind of sucks that I wasn't able to do commentaries over the Christmas break because I did not have a computer. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm back now bringing you more matches. This is going to be a sick game. This is OGS MC, a.k.a. Jangmin Chol. He's going to be the Red Protoss player at the uh, 2 o'clock position on Metalopolis. He's using this OGS account because I believe this particular tournament was on the European server, so he couldn't use his Korean account. So that's uh, this is OGS MC. His opponent is OGS Top using Liquid Rhett's account. Um, I'm sure that Rhett and Top are, are buddies. Uh, they've spent at least some time in the OGS house together, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, so it looks like Rhett has lent uh, to uh, Top his account. So this is going to be a TVP on Metalopolis. We've got the first barracks not going up at the top of the ramp. Uh, doesn't surprise me at all, given that MC is Protoss, and uh, a lot of pro-level games you don't see, you know, the the tear and wall off the way you do on lower level matches. Uh, refinery going up as well, so we are going to see some relatively early gas. Uh, really no indication quite what, uh, no indication of what build top is going with quite yet. Uh, both players, looks like they're going to be scouting in the wrong direction. The probe for MC certainly is. And uh, yeah, so is the SCV here. So both players are going to be in the dark for the next 30 seconds at least. Another pylon going up behind the ramp. Got to spread those pylons out. Uh, Got to get three SCVs on that assimilator. Very nice. Going to uh, see a cybernetics core up here any minute. Um, very nice. Very nice. Very standard uh, opener here from uh, MC. MC, by the way, I mean, if you don't know who he is, he is just an absolute beast. He won GSL 3. He's the scariest Protoss in the world, man. He just tore apart Jinro in the semis. He took on, I mean, someone who I don't even think is as good as Jinro in the finals, TSL Reign. Tore him up, too. It was like those series weren't even close. It was scary. Scary stuff. Second Assimilator on the way. Uh, Cybernetics Core just completing right now. Uh, spending that initial gas on a stalker along with warp gate research getting uh, a tech lab on tops first barracks and this probe is actually not allowed in Ooh, no scouting at all because of the two marines at the top of the ramp so yeah um, MC has no idea what's going on in the Terran base on the other hand OGS top sees the exact build order of MC uh, certainly knows about these uh, two gas, sees the warp gate research on the way. But I would imagine that, uh, yeah, MC is going to wait for that SCP to die. And now he's going to put down another tech structure immediately. What's he going to put down? Another gateway. Um, anything else? He's got lots of resources. Two gates? Yeah. So we got three gates already. <clears throat> warp gate research now. About two-thirds complete. Command center on the way. Concussive shells. Um, as well as an additional barracks. It's actually really common to see Terran players expand. Uh, this is quite a relatively fast expansion, but I was going to say it's it's pretty common to see them expand with some Marauders. Uh, you know, you're going to need to hold off this kind of a warp gate push. Is it going to be a four gate? Yep. Four warp gate push for MC, and this is MC's like trademark. He just took out... Oh, nice try with that pro. Just not going to happen. But I was going to say, MC just tries this build a lot. He's really scary micro with these four gates. And I don't know how he does. He just steamrolls people in the early game a lot. And these guys are top tier, the best players in the world, man. So, yeah. Command center It's going to turn into orbital command. Going to call down that first mule. And then uh, top here is going to attempt to secure his natural base. I'd like to see some bunkers. I mean, he needs to get some uh, defensive structures up. Um, he's going to spot the two stalkers along with the zealot. Uh, so top, I mean, sort of is getting a sense of the build for MC, but I mean, he doesn't know about these three gateways. Uh, all he really knows about are the units here at the Zelnaga. Certainly doesn't know about this proxy pylon. Uh, got shield upgrade on the way, so we're going to have some marines in the mix. He's got six already. I want to take a look at the units tab, actually. Six marines, now four marauders. 
gonna try to defend this natural expansion, but this is a scary Protoss army here. Six, six stalkers, four sentries, and a zealot. Gonna force away this um, orbital command, and he's gonna try to push up the ramp here. A couple force fields, not really preventing any of the Terran units from getting shots off. Well, these Marines are actually kind of scattered in the back, so pretty good force field placement. Is this Protoss force gonna be enough with the very short rally point from the pylon? This is looking to be a very scary push here as all the SCVs come off the line. And I mean, SCVs, they're okay against uh, these kind of gateway units. Definitely not Zealots, but Stalkers and, and Sentries, they can do okay. Definitely tank a lot of the damage. Top here, it looks like he, he may hold this off. Lots of Zealots on the way. It's a good thing that Top has concussive shells, sending a lot of the SCVs now back to the mineral line. And he's going to be able to kite these uh, Zealots. Look at that, how he target fires whichever Zealot is closest, uh, so as to, you know, concuss them and, and prevent them from getting those slashes in. Ooh, that Zealot almost got another kill there. But, you know what? I really have to applaud OGS Top. It is not every day that you see these, uh, these kind of early pushes stopped by MC. I mean, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about the GSL, but, you know, 4 owing Liquid Jinro with pretty much the same 4-gate push. Um, you know, and of course, Liquid Jinro, another deadly Terran player. So, big props to OGS Top here. I'm looking to see if OGS Top can rally. Is he going to go for a little counterattack? Uh, we've got Protoss units still getting warped in over here. And it looks like Top is going to counter. Still just 4 gate. And <clears throat> because... MC is on one base and Top is now securing his natural. Um, MC either needs to get in a defensive posture, try to secure a natural of his own, which would be quite difficult to do, or do what he's doing now and continuing to put the pressure on, uh, you know, and probably going to end this game early. So the natural expansion forced to lift. These mules wasted. That's 100 energy there. But this is pretty horrible news <clears throat> for, for OGS MC here. I mean, he really didn't know much about this Terran push as it was on the way across the map. It looks like it's going to be an attempted base trade. But you really don't want to be base trading versus this many Marines and Marauders. They just have a much higher DPS. And, I mean, Liquid Red, what am I saying, Liquid Red? OGS top, um, going to attempt to defend. But, I mean, the Terran can certainly lift off, uh, you know, all these, u all these structures. All these warp gates are unpowered, so I think it was a poor decision for sure to uh, attempt a base race versus a, a Terran player like OGS Top. But then again, I don't think that MC was was fully aware um, that Top had pushed out after uh, the four gate kind of failed, pushed out with all these Marines and Marauders. There was no defense here, and look at this baller move. I think it's considered to be. Well, you can't even call it BM. It's pretty, it's pretty tactical. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a close base, easily defendable. This is pretty funny. So this is gonna be the final push here. What do we got on the units tab? We've got a handful of probes, 21, five zealots, two stalkers, three sentries. They are going to attempt to overwhelm the Terran army, but oh, bad news at the front door. This is a, uh, this is not gonna work. Nice wall off for OGS top. And actually, another orbital command just over here, pylon in at the uh, at the enemy base. Yeah, this is uh, looking to be a bit of a dire situation for our friend MC. He has no chance. I mean, what can he hit them with? Stalkers and sentries. He's got a, a thousand hit point wall in times three racks. You know, lots of marines, marauders, continuing to produce more marauders, and I'm sure that he's gonna. Yeah, just be focusing down these units, no problem. GG from uh, OGS MC. Uh, an unlikely loss. I heard a statistic that OGS MC, I in his PVTs, has a crazy, crazy win percentage, like above 80 or something. Someone said it was 90. I didn't really believe it, but, I mean, he, he certainly proved it in the GSL, and this is pretty cool that OGS Top was actually able to take him out in this fashion. This is actually a very interesting game. So I, uh, I enjoyed seeing the strats for these two players. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, take care. I just kind of wanted to highlight one more thing. I mentioned it before how this push really caught MC off guard. We can see on MC's cam, he has no idea about these Marines and Marauders. 
And I think that is, is quite a mistake on MC's part, just having his Protoss army positioned here with absolutely nothing to spot this push. Completely caught him off guard and, um, well, could have played a big role if he knew about it and uh, repositioned his army. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. Alright, peace out.